in the last video we have seen about eigen values now we are going to see about eigen vectors i'm going to use the same problem which i used for finding eigen values find the eigen value and eigen vector a the matrix is given here we have seen in the last video itself the eigen values are lambda is equal to 2 2 minus 2 we are going to find the eigen vectors only using this eigen values the eigen vectors are given by by the equation a minus lambda i into x bar which is equal to 0 a is the given matrix and lambda scalar i is the identity and x bar is the x1 x2 x3 the unknown values which is equal to 0 now i am going to substitute the matrix a here and the matrix a is 2 minus 2 2 1 1 1 1 3 minus 1 minus here lambda is here the identity matrix all the diagonal entries will be 1 so I am going to multiply directly and write here lambda lambda into 1 will be lambda then 0 0 0 lambda 0 0 0 lambda now we are going to subtract lambda i from a 2 minus lambda 2 minus lambda minus 2 minus 0 minus 2 2 minus 0 2 1 minus 0 1 1 minus lambda 1 minus lambda 1 minus 0 1 1 minus 0 1 3 minus 0 3 minus 1 minus lambda minus 1 minus lambda which is equal to 0 this is a minus lambda i name it as equation 1 using this a minus lambda i only we are going to find the eigen vectors we are going to substitute the first eigen value lambda 2 here and we are going to find the first eigen vector consider the first eigen value we take it as case 1 and we are going to find the corresponding eigen vector first eigen value is lambda 2 i'm going to substitute this 2 in this first equation in the place of lambda and i'm going to find the eigen vector 2 minus 2 we'll get 0 minus 2 and then 2 1 1 minus 2 will get minus 1 and then the same one 1 3 minus 1 minus 2 will get minus 3 we know that we can find the eigen vectors using this formula a minus lambda i into x bar which is equal to 0 this is a minus lambda i and then x bar x bar is x1 x2 and x3 which is equal to 0 now we are going to do the simple matrix multiplication that is rows into columns the seven method we are going to do the matrix multiplication 0 into x1 0 x1 minus 2 into x2 minus 2 x2 2 into x3 which is equal to 0 then the next uh, row and the next column next row 1 into x1 x1 minus 1 into x2 minus x2 1 into x3 plus x3 which is equal to 0 the next row and then column 1 into x1 x1 plus 3 into x2 3 x2 minus 3 into x3 minus 3 x3 which is equal to 0 name this equations as 2 3 and 4 now we are going to solve these three equations and we are going to find the x1, x2, x3 values which will be the eigen vector. How can we solve this three equation? We can solve these three equations either by I rule of assumption or rule of cross multiplication method. Now I am going to use rule of assumption method in this case. Let us uh, see the first equation. Here the x1 uh, coefficient is 0 so need not consider it. We can write simply as from 2 minus two, x2 plus 2x3 which is equal to 0. 
keep this minus 2x2 as such. Take this 2x3 thus that side. We will take we will get minus 2x3. Now minus minus get cancelled. 2 2 gets cancelled. Now the remaining is x2 which is equal to x3. The values of x2 and x3 will be the same. Now we are using rule of assumption method in this place. While going for assumption method, we must use, uh, we must take smaller values which will be easy for further calculations. Now I am going to assume here x2 is equal to 1. x2 is equal to 1 which implies x3 is also equal to 1. So the values of x2 and x3 are 1. We are going to substitute this x2 and x3 values in for equation 4 to get the x1 value. Substitute above in equation 4. x1 plus 3 into x2. x2 value is 1. 3 into 1 we will get the same 3. Minus 3 into x3. x3 value is 1. 3 into 1 again 3 which is equal to 0. 3, 3 get cancelled. X1 value is equal to 0. Now, X1 value, we got the 3 values X1, X2, X3. This is the eigenvector for the corresponding eigenvalue 2. The eigenvector for the corresponding eigenvalue 2 is 0, 1, 1. This is the eigenvector for the corresponding lambda value 2. See here, the next eigenvalue is also 2. We will get, if you are deriving it, we will get the same eigenvector. So, I am not doing here. I am moving to the next eigenvalue. Lambda is equal to minus 2. The third case is lambda is equal to minus 2 which is eigenvalue is equal to minus 2. We must substitute the lambda value in this equation 1 and we will get a matrix and we have to form some equations and we can find the eigenvectors. I am going to substitute this lambda value in this first equation. Minus 2, 2 plus 2 we will get 4 minus 2 and then 2 the same one here 1 minus minus of 2 we will get 3 then the same one the 1 3 now minus 1 minus minus of minus 2 we will get the same we will get 1 we know to find the eigenvector we must use the for equation a minus lambda i into x bar is equal to 0. This is a minus lambda i. You are going to put x bar. That is x1, x2 and x3 which is equal to 0. Now we are going for matrix multiplication. That is rows into columns. The simple way. 7 method we are going to use. 4 into x1, 4 x1, minus 2 into x2, minus 2 x2. Plus 2 into x3, 2 x3, which is equal to 0. The next is 7 method. Next row into column. 1 into x1, x1. 3 into x2, plus 3 x2. 1 into x3, plus x3, which is equal to 0. 1 into x1, we get x1, plus 3 into x2, 3 x2, plus x3 which is equal to 0. So, uh, this will be the 5th equation. This is 6th equation and then 7th equation. Name it as. Look at here. The values of the 2nd row are same. 2nd row and 3rd row are same. So, we cannot use the, these 2 equations to find the values. We can just consider only these 2 equations. When we are having 3 variables to find, but only two equations we have to go for cross multiplication method. What is, we are going to use cross multiplication method.
first eigen value we have found by rule of assumption method here we are going for cross multiplication method because these two equations are same so we cannot consider this two we can consider any only one equation so we are considering this fifth and sixth equation alone for to find the eigen vector x1 4x1 minus 2x2 plus 2x3 which is equal to 0 x1 plus 3x2 plus x3 which is equal to 0 we are going to consider only these two equations what is cross multiplication method we are uh, going uh, we let us know this right a1 x1 plus a2 x2 sorry b1 x2 plus c1 x3 which is equal to 0 this is one equation next equation we are going to consider a1 x1 a2 x2 plus b2 x2 plus c2 x3 which is equal to 0. Consider these two equations. In these two equations, there are three unknown variables, only two equations. So, in this case, we must use only cross multiplication method. For this cross multiplication method, using this cross multiplication method, we can find the ratios of x1, x2, x3. And write for x1, which is equal to x2, which is equal to x3. Add the devices. While finding the values for x1, just hide this one and uh, consider the coefficients of x2 and x3. Determinant of b1, b2, c1, c2. Here, minus x2 will come in the equation. Now, while finding for x2, we are just going to hide this one. Sorry. A1 coefficients of A and C. A1, A2, C1, C2. While considering this X3, we are going to hide this and find uh, considering the coefficients. We are going to write the coefficients here. A1, A2, B1, B2. In the next, next line, we are just going to cross multiply this and write. That's all x1 divided by b1 c2 determinant of b1 c2 minus b2 c1 which is equal to minus x2 divided by the again same sorry divided by cross multiplication a1 c2 minus a2 c1 which is equal to x3 divided by Again the same cross multiplication. A1 B2 minus A2 B1 determinant. This is the uh, e uh, formula for finding the cross multiplication method. We are going to use this in this place to find the last eigenvector. Write it as such. x1 divided by which is equal to minus x2 divided by which is equal to x3 divided by while finding the x1 we have to hide this and we have to i'm going to directly cross multiply and write the answer minus 2 into 1 we get minus 2 3 into 2 minus 6 minus 2 for finding minus x2 we are going to hide this 4 into 1 4 minus 1 into 2 we will get 2 for x3, we will hide this. 4 into 3, 12, minus, minus 2 into 1, plus 2. Next step, x, x1, minus 2, minus 6, minus 8, which is equal to minus x2 by 2. 4 minus 2, that is 2, which is equal to x3, which is 2 by 12 plus 2, 14. Now the eigenvectors x1, x2, x3 are minus 8, 2 and 14. Minus 8, 2 and 14. These numbers are divisible by 2. We are reducing it. 
minus 4, 1, 7. This is the eigenvector which corresponds to lambda is equal to minus 2. Thank you.